Obviously, you were you were pretty crestfallen after the the game last night. Um, are you feeling any better today? Well, you've got to be, aren't you? You've got to go back to work, um, smile on your face, and look at the next game. So, um, yeah, I think we all all were disappointed. And um, looking at the players' reactions afterwards, obviously, because uh, yeah, again, the story of our season unfolds right right in front of us. Um, not being smashed by a quality side, um, you know, a side obviously going fantastically well. Um, and I keep, keep saying it, you know, the league full of incredible players and and as well incredible managers. You know, we're up against Carlo Ancelotti, who's managed Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Chelsea. Um, some fabulous sides achieved everything in the game and he comes to Everton so you know he obviously sees um, a club that's going forward and has the ability to challenge at the top of the top of the division and we're involved yet again in another tight game which we unfortunately come out of the uh, the, the wrong the wrong side of um, so yeah, just just so frustrating yet again for for the for the players as well as as as, as myself. What sort of a conversation did did you have with the players after that game? I just thought, you know, we, we I, I, as as I said to you afterwards, Fraser. Just there's so much to admire about about my team, the qualities that they show in terms of you know the togetherness. You know, they're willing to 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 graft and and, and be committed. Um, and have a desire to win a game. They, they they desperately want to win a game for themselves, for for the teammates, and for the football club. They de- you know they've got some incredible qualities, some fighting qualities, which I think everybody sees. You know everybody sees who knows the game and, and sees what they're what 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 they're producing. You know, never say die attitude. Always feeling that they can go and win every game. But the quality that that other teams possess. Uh, maybe over um, over a number of seasons in in, in their careers, um, and for for those players to establish themselves in the Premier League for for as as players uh, taking away from the team uh, the team for them for those players to to have careers in the Premier League they've got to show more quality than they're doing at the moment. You know, just simple individual errors. You know, you know, uh, a misplaced pass. And I'm not, uh, you know, an heavy touch, ball rolling underneath somebody's foot, taking a wrong decision. You know, these, these are, these are, these are key moments that that allow allow, if it's right, allow you to build momentum um, and um, and get a flow to your game, which we we don't seem to 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 be getting um, anywhere near that we that we did last year and and. And these are the qualities that those players have, have got to got to show, have shown last year, and have got to show more often this year. If we're going to build up momentum, if we're going to give ourselves an opportunity of of putting teams on the back foot, and and, and a lot of the teams, a lot of the games have, have have been to and fro. I get that, which is, as I said, is a, is is a sign of encouragement for me. But you know, big moments, key moments that all season, whether out of possession, whether in possession, we haven't taken. You know, I came down the tunnel last night at half time, um, and I just caught the back end of a few of the Everton boys talking about they just need one big moment and they'll take it. They had one big moment and they took it. And we've had so many opportunities like that, Fraser, all season that we haven't taken, whether out of possession, but more importantly, in possession, to change the outcome of a game. And obviously, you know, the outcome of the game was similar to to a dozen of those games that we've played all season. So with that in mind then, I mean, have you had times where you, you've sat everybody down and, and had conversations or does there come a time where you have to sit everybody down and have that kind of conversation in order to be able to try and pinpoint what it is, why it is that they're not able to play to that same level that you've talked about that they were playing last year? Well, yeah, we, we they, 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 they know. We've had the conversations. We talk all the time. I think about it all the time, constantly. Um, but you know, Sigerson finds that moment of, of of magic. You know, Jamie Vardy finds that moment of magic. You know, that they 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 all they all do. Um, they all do. And suppose that I suppose then maybe realistically, I've got to think. You know, where's our football club at, and where these football clubs are at, um, and the and the battle and the fight that we're that we're that 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 we're having week in week out. Um, 
in in, in this division. Um, so it, it it is really difficult because you know what you know is it how do they how do they find that I think you know I've got to go back to to experience um, and and how do these players find find that. Uh, inspiration, belief, confidence, uh, whatever word you can you can attach to it, they have to find it themselves. I, you know, I, I'm a, I, 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 well, I like to think I'm an incredibly positive manager to the players before before the games and telling them, you know, we we have got a big opportunity here, and you know, uh, we feel that we can win this game of football. I, I think right through. Through, from a personal point of view, wouldn't have got to this situation by being by not being that, um, and the players have got to find that as well. I, I, I am. I'm going to come out and say it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it after a game be, uh, and say that you know we were we were unlucky or you know we deserve to to win the game. I'm not a spin manager, um, and I've always said I think. Supporters see that, especially my supporters. They want to, they want to hear the truth, and and the truth is at the moment the quality of the team, the quality of the play, um, isn't as 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 what it should be, or doesn't give you an opportunity of of winning games of football. So that represents and replicates the position that we're in. Does that give you any opportunity then to, I mean, we've talked about budgets and things like that, to to go back to to the owners and say, well, look, we could do with at least one or two new players to try and help us out of this situation. Given the way things are, you have to invest in the squad in order to to be able to try and and stop things going as they are. Yeah, I think there's always, you know, different football clubs at different levels of investment, of, of, of course. Uh, not just from a wages point of view, uh, not just from a um, from a um, from a fee point of view, from a wages point of view, and I've I've, I've talked long 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 enough about where, where we're at with that. It's a battle. It's a battle to bridge the gap. It's a huge battle because of our seasons out of the Premier League, um, and uh, I think people in the game know that. Know that you know if you've if you've only had in the last twenty five seasons, this is your only your third season in the Premier League. Um, and um, uh, and and for for that for that period, this you know right the way through that period, you know there's there's opportunities on on on, on every aspect of of of, uh, of the club to be improved from academy to training ground for for, for every aspect of it. Um, from this short term one, yeah, I've spoke to the owners in terms of of, of bringing a couple of players in, and um, you know basically. Um, I'm always and I will always try to improve, improve the football club with the with the resources that, that that we've got. But it is at times a huge bridge to to gap and a, a, a huge gap to bridge. Sorry, and can't always be done with enthusiasm, with uh, commitment, with a work ethic. It's it's got to be done at times with with the quality. Um, and uh, uh, but you know. Taking that aside, you know what we can bring in and what we what we haven't bring in. I still expect more from the players that I've got. I expect more quality from the players that I've got, and they know it and they understand it, and they have that quality. And it's about them, as I said to you last night, sticking the chest out, puffing the chest out, and and, and showing that we've got nothing to lose. You know, nothing to lose because everybody looks at the position, the statisticians will look at the position. Um, other clubs will, will look at the position. Everybody in the game will look at our position and say, you know, we're buried. We, we, we're, we're done for. So, you know, we, we, you know, it's, there's nothing to lose. We might as well go for it. And that has been my message to the players. And they have to, they have to take that on board. You know, I think there's lo- loads more pressures on 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 the, on the teams teams above us because they'll, you know, and they'll, and there'll be one or two um, that that will that will think they've got enough at the moment that will. As it can happen in the Premier League, can have that can have that slide. So there'll be pressure on them, and there really shouldn't be any pressure on us because you know um, people over over sort of the last two or three years wouldn't have expected to be in this position, wouldn't have expected to do what we've done. We are in this position. We should be in a better position than we are. 
in my opinion, in terms of what we've produced this season, we should have more points on the board. So to gain those points, we're only going to do it with with players saying, well, you know, I've got a word for it, you know, but I possibly can't use it to, to you. Uh, but we have to show strength of character and uh, and and and. Uh, and just a, fr- a freedom to try and express themselves to say, well, this is it. This is what is the worst thing that can happen. Um, well, the worst thing that can happen, yeah. But the best thing that can happen is that you, you come out of this season having defied, you know, incredible odds um, and won, won games of football and, and, um, and, you know, all those critics and all those stats get chucked out the window. Um, and that's my message to, 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 the, to the players um, and they have to take that on board. Best of luck, Chris. Thanks, Thanks very much. Fraser. Thank you. Hi, Chris. Morning. It's uh, Andy from Radio Sheffield here. Morning, Andy. Morning. You mentioned in your first answer with uh, Fraser there that at certain times it's about experience. So, was the one moment instance happening or something or other in that 1990 season that clicked for you guys, whether personally or as a team, that served as an inspiration for the recovery? Well, one big, one big performance and one big result, Andy. You know, I, 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 I look back at, uh, and there's so many similarities. The team is giving everything for the football club. You see that. You see the body language. You see what they're doing. You know, I don't think there can be any criticism long term about what's happened at this football club over the last four and a half years in terms of, you know, the commitment that everybody at this football club has given to try and get us into this position. There has been the odd games, you know, and I said it right the way through. Odd game in, in, in League One, not many. Um, odd game in the first season, odd game in the second season, even last year, and the odd game this season. But for the majority, you you know you don't lose all these games by the single goal margin if you've got, I keep saying, if you've got the white flag out and you're disjointed and everybody's pulling in different directions. And that wasn't the case. We're playing... You know, like I said to you, a team that spent, you know, half a billion pound and and attracted one of the best managers in the world um, last night. And for 80 minutes, there's nothing in it. There's nothing in it. But I just don't want to see just nothing in it. And we are underdogs. We're always underdogs. This club has always been an underdog club. And we thrive on that. And but, But the club has got to... Has got to, the, the, the players and the team have got to play in a in a in, in in a fashion that gives you an opportunity of winning winning games. And as I said, so many similarities, so many qualities to the team of ninety to team there. It was that one result. It was that one result. They backed it up against Luton. We got beat. I remember against Arsenal. I played in that game. We got beat at Anfield that game. And then there was a run of games where it was tight, but but. The, the the games we, we we won because we got a belief and and, and got a little momentum um, off the back of that fabulous performance and result against Forest on, on on Boxing Day and and it and it and it's amazing what that does for you and we're still striving we're still finding and we're still desperate for that big performance stroke stroke result. Ben Osborne was speaking after the match last night and he used the word embarrassment, which of course is a different fr- different emotion to say frustration or what have you. Do, you. do you get that sense that that's what they're feeling right now? Yeah, I think we all are. You know, we're, we're, not, we're not enjoying it, you know, because people are chucking everything at us, the worst team and points total. And you can't get away from the fact that I don't think that we, we are the worst, the worst team in, in, in the Premier League, but the points are what it's there for and you have to win games Win games as well as play play okay, um, but it is yeah it is of course it is a, it is a, a feeling of, of 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 that you know you 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 don't want to put the TV on you don't want to listen to 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 things you know. Radio Four. I've never listened to Radio Four in my life, but they don't do any sport on Radio Four. They don't do any Premier League football. And I'm I'm learning so many weird and wonderful things and um, about life really because I've been in this bubble of football for 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 what for 35 years. So um, so it is. Yeah, it does feel that way, um, and it won't if we start winning games of football. And you know we've we've earned enormous amount of respect and. We want that to to, 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 to continue as well. Um, but we want to win games of football. 
And of course, you know, those words that if if Ben Ben says them, who's who's incredibly honest honest football player, you know, um, who yet again another one that that left everything out there last night. Um, and if the players are feeling it, I can understand the feeling of it. It doesn't mean that you hide away. You need to walk 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 around, still doing the same walks and sticking my head up. And I and I and I believe that the support is definitely still with us. But of course it. it it does. It does affect every part of you, and that word, I should imagine, is 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 a, is a correct one to use. Not on performances, not on, you know, um, uh, a disharmony in 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 the group, um, but most certainly, two points from what 14, 14, 15 games is doesn't leave you with a feeling of of of, of anything else. Place any extra significance on the next three? Because well, Burnley obviously in very good form, aren't they? But then Newcastle, Palace, and Newcastle follow that. They're all after points, and the I've never looked at this division and thought of anything anything different. Burnley have been an incredible story for a long time, and um, and they'll continue to be under under Sean. Um, um, Newcastle and Palace are established Premier League clubs and as I've said all along um, I know teams won't want to come out and say it but I do believe there's 10-11 football clubs in this division before a, go- a ball is kicked that would settle for 17th place I don't think you- they can ever come out and say that but I think they do and I think that's the reason that they talk about it they talk about you know Premier League survival because of how tough the division is, how demanding it is. We go from Everton at home who are a top side to to, to Burnley away who are doing well and a real difficult place to go and get get a result that have that have turned better teams over than us in the past and had some incredible results. Went down after their first year, first year in, went down, regrouped and went and went again. So there's a there's a story with with, with them as well. Um, and, and Newcastle and Palace, who I think there was a stat that Palace have in their in their Premier League um, uh, Premier League past seasons, how many they've been in, have not finished in the top ten. I think that shows you how difficult it is for established clubs to it to even you know kick on as kick on as well. So that goes to you know in my, in my opinion when you talk about you know. Um, 17th and above, even though I keep saying it, they won't want to come out with it. Um, another 120 million, another season in the Premier League, and, and then they go again. Everybody all right after last night in terms of injury? There are no further issues to contend with, are there? Ollie Burke um, had a back spasm, that's the reason he had to come off at half time. Uh, Ollie, Ollie Mack, as I said, put his hand up. We wanted him in, in and around. Um, He's obviously had a, a really heavy fall and was out for a, for a couple of weeks after the Southampton game. Had an injection and then you saw last night um, took a had a bit of a car crash with their centre half. So as I've talked about after the game, Andy his commitment should never be doubted and it won't be ever be doubted by me. He wanted to get out there, he wanted to help the team, um, myself and um, and the football. Not help the football club because you know he gets paid to, to to play football. But I think I think eighty percent of footballers wouldn't have um, wouldn't have made that decision to put their hand up to play, um, and then took a big whack last night, but carried on through. Um, so we'll assess him. Lee Smith has has really had, as I said last night, had a stop start season for his injury, for rolling his for, for all his ankle, still having few issues with. With that, um, we're desperately trying to get him on the pitch because we know uh, what he can do. But obviously, to start a game is real, di- really difficult for him because we can't condition him enough through the week um, to um, to get to, to 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 get him games under his belt to get him into a rhythm. So that's quite a difficult one um, that we that, that we're dealing at the moment. Um, and there's a couple that you would expect from a really bruising physical encounter last night, you know, um, and 
uh, that was what the what the what the game was 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 uh, was was about last night. There wasn't wasn't much opportunities. It wasn't a free flowing game. And we're talking about a team that's, as I said, that's um, that after last night's performance and, and 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 result, find themselves in second second position in the Premier League. Great. Thanks a lot. Best of luck at Burnley. Thank you. Morning, Chris. How are you doing? Hey, Sue. Um, you talked a lot about the experienced players not quite bringing consistent form and quality. We saw what happened with Arsenal yesterday against Chelsea, bringing in one or two younger players. Now, accepting that you don't perhaps have those kind of younger resources, I just wonder if you're tempted to change things up a little bit because doing what you've always done this season has brought you what you've always got. Is, is that a temptation for you? No, no disrespect. So if you look at Arsenal's academy... Uh, and you look at our our academy, you know, mm. um, yeah, sure. it, it's it's poles it's poles apart. You know, they, sure. they, they, those players that they're they're bringing in, you know, Saka's a, an England international. Martinelli is a, is a top player. You know, Smith Rowe uh, is a, is is a really top player. I I, I understand, and they've got Meza Özil um, and and uh, Bami Yang. It's 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 so no disrespect, but we're 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 we're, we're incredible. Planet away from where where Arsenal are. Um, if there was any young kids that if if there was any young kids that I felt would would benefit playing in this team at the moment or, or give us a hand, then then I would. But we we haven't we haven't got that quality. You know, fourteen year old kids who who signs for Sheffield United four years ago when we're mid table of League One is possibly not expected to go and play in a in a Premier League. Premier League fixture at 18 and 19. That's the difference of 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 of, 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 of the football clubs and where we're at uh, as 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 a football club. But you know, the, 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 there there is. But a couple of uh, already had opportunities. Max Lowe's had a had, had a dip into it. I'm just looking at any any others really. There's 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 Jaden possibly, but I think George, out of our experienced players, has possibly been one of our most cons- consistent ones. So. You know, um, to get to get Jaden in the team would possibly uh, have to leave have to leave George out. So you know that's possibly the, the only decision looking at looking at the group from from an age point of view. Do you take plenty of encouragement, Chris, from the sort of recent results that Fulham have managed to pull out? They've really solidified a little bit with a, a few draws successively, and Burnley too have had a couple of really good results, and that's helped turn things around from them. Yeah, it will do. It will do for anybody. It has done for, for, for Fulham and Scott. You know, they worked away and, and, and it has done for Sean. You know, both guys that, you know, have done have done great jobs at their respective football clubs. And that's what that's what we're all after. We're after one or two results. We're after a win at Brighton and, a, and a, you know, a, a, a draw against Everton. And yet again, we're going back to fine margins, really fine margins. Uh, in the, in the, in in arguably one, well one of the best leagues in Europe, so fine margins in not just the last two games, you know, getting a result against Manchester United, getting a result against Leicester, getting a win against West Brom, you know, of course, if you looked at all those all those um, all those fixtures, and we'd have come out not all wins, but you know, a win and a couple of wins and a couple of draws, then. You'd have been saying the same thing to to somebody else about what's happening at Sheffield United. So, really fine fine margins. But I'm 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 frustrated, tired, and of saying about the fine margins. We've got to get over the line one way or the other. Um, and it is those big moments out of possession, in possession, and they deal with so many big moments out of possession. But in possession, we have to we have to produce big moments that. That obviously give us a give us a give us a chance to pick those points up. When you say for you personally, Chris, you're tired and frustrated. You've had lots of highs and lows in your playing and your managerial career. This, I imagine, is the toughest period you've had to face. What are you finding out about yourself that perhaps you didn't know at the start of the season? I don't need to find out anything about myself. So if I'm if I'm totally honest, I've been through yeah, I've been through the mill as a, as a, as a player and as a manager. So. He's, he, you know, he's not finding that out about me or it or, or anything. You know, I'm managing in, in the best league in the world, and I think I'm the best I've I've, I've ever been at it personally, because of the experiences that I've been through. Um, it wouldn't show obviously because it, it doesn't represent that that on 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 the pitch. But 
I'm working as hard as I've ever, 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 ever done. And and, and you're right to say it is it is the most difficult period of of of, of my career. I thought other periods were difficult, um, but I think pound for pound, looking at it now, especially over sort of the last month, of, of yeah, it, it it comes it comes um, it comes down to that. But it, you know, it's not just me who's feeling it. it uh, you know, feeling feeling that pain and and the difficult situation that we're all in. The players are because you see it in their reaction. You see what they're giving. You see the body language afterwards. I see the pain in the faces in the in the change room afterwards. But there's no hiding place. We've got to go again. Um, there's you. We got to you know get in the shower and do what you need to do and come into work as we have done today positive now to look to the next game to to get that win that like you said Fulham did and Burnley did a couple of weeks ago and we have to if we give ourselves any opportunity